Hello everyone, this is the Reese again and I am here with my Zoom H4n Pro. I finally said it correctly because all this time I've been describing it as HN4 but anyway that's that's irrelevant. Um I wanted to, to like show you how to connect your condenser mic. Um my condenser mic is the AKG Perception 220 and how I'm able to do this, and it's quite miraculous, I'm still quite shocked and mind blown. Um, how I do this is, yes, you plug it in um, with the XLR cable, and then it looks complicated, but the device is really easy because, and it's kind of hard for me to demonstrate it while it's mirrored to me, um, but I'm going to try my best. Uh, you, because initially, it's going to be for the fixed mic, because there's like a mic button over here. And you just switch it over here to the one and two buttons so we plugged it in input one so we are gonna put it over here like that very uh um easy so far and it's easy yet um so what you do next is you go to the menu and then there's a menu bu button over here and then the scroll wheel actually is also a button so we press it yes we press it i know we go to input and we press and you're gonna have a bunch of options here and then we go to the one two link and we turn that on um yeah you, you turn that on by pressing this pressing the scroll wheel and then you go to uh i'm sorry for the lack of audio um the correct terminology um because I, I don't know the right t terminology. I'm just going to say what makes sense to me. Um, so you, you, you know you plug it over here, right? And one. But what's going to happen is you're going to hear it um, only on your left. So how to make it um, hear both sides. When you put it on your monitors, you uh, turn on mono mix. And you just bap there. And then it's solved. All your problems in life are solved. <laughs> well, not quite, but that problem is solved. You're you're ready to conquer the world. <laughs> oh, oh Jesus! I forgot the most important step. And let's go back to menu. So we're back to input, and we have to turn on the phantom power. <laughs> I forgot about that. So we have phantom power set to forty eight volts and this device is providing power and everything is completely quiet um i did not think to record this video with <laughs> with this so i'm sorry <laughs> I, I guess i'll just include a tiny sample at the end um to show you how it sounds like and yeah you're technically all set to go so when you record and yeah this is the time i'm gonna include the, the the audio coming from yeah the akg perception what you do is you press the record button but it's not recording yet it's not because it's giving you a chance to test the audio levels excuse me it's giving you a chance to 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 look at the audio levels and see if they're okay so you can see how everything is um under 12 or yeah so i think that's a pretty fine volume from uh, the distance that we're going to be talking into the mic so i think that's fine and you adjust the the mic level over here uh, just to show you like this and like that it's very easy um and then yeah then you hit record again to record for real so you can uh, choose the kind of settings for your audio it's over here in number four i'll show you that in a bit after i record this so it is recording now and i'm gonna try to modulate my voice a little more <laughs> so as you can see it is providing um the recording levels live for you to see and to look at excuse me <laughs> I, I wonder if that was captured in the mic <laughs> okay i'm burping again <laughs> okay so when you finish the recording you can press again or actually that didn't work uh 
the, the, the most direct way is to just press stop and then BAM it's saved so let me show you how to change the settings we go to number 4 and right under number 4 is WAV and MP3 or MP3 and we just press that and then we cycle through it with a scroll wheel until you find your perfect match. If only dating is as easy as that. <laughs> so these mics over here are fixed I believe. I could be wrong but I kind of like touched them a bit and they didn't move. Um, to show you the fixed mic and how they sound like, uh, we go to input and we go to the fixed mic. So that's going to be the levels for the fixed mic. So let me just check uh, like this. Um, this is a pretty good distance to me, it looks like. Maybe let's just raise it a little higher. Hello, 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 hello there, hello, hello there. Okay, yeah, I think, okay, a little bit more. Hello, 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 wait, uh, okay okay I think I think this is I think this is okay okay there so we press the, the button a second time and this is sorry I had to scratch my nose and this is the audio coming from uh, this mic so I'm not using my monitor earphones that are just like sad in the back behind me however um, they are very sensitive to wind like very sensitive to wind like this kind of sensitive to wind i, I hope i didn't rip any ears <laughs> um, after that so yeah they're quite sensitive but they are um really fun because they're unidirectional so um i could like scream over there and you can hear like um if you're wearing uh your headphones you can actually hear that if i'm in front of this you can hear the direction of where the sound is coming from so that's really cool and for the asm artists over there spend some money for this <laughs> so yeah uh i hope that was helpful i don't know why i'm doing this so yeah i hope that was helpful and buy this device please i got this device from one gadget um it's you know currently covid uh, and the lockdown but i was able to get this you're able to satiate your gear lust um while the covid is happening uh because they deliver through grab um and it was very convenient however the price is not convenient <laughs> it cost me a pretty penny <laughs> um cost me 12,499 to get this device, but it's so worth it. It's really worth it. And the batteries that I'm using, this uses AA batteries, and also it can use um, lithium, lithium batteries, yes, I've seen that in the options. It asks you what kind of batteries you're using, so um, keep that in mind when you are um, using the device. You need to switch your settings for the for the battery. I'm using a rechargeable battery. It is the Eneloop, Eneloop, Eneloop Pro, <laughs> Eneloop Pro, and I think they're doing pretty good. Uh, they're rechargeable, so uh, it's very convenient. Is there a way to have a dedicated plug-in for this? I I don't know, but I've been using it like this as a handheld portable device and if you want to exit um if you want to exit a menu you just press the menu button again and then voila it's a very intuitive uh device when i first got it i was scared because it looks so complicated it looked like it was gonna bite me but it turns out it was very friendly and it's it's giving me a lot of joy so yeah i hope that was a helpful video and I wish you a good quarantine. <laughs>